Assalamu alaikum, my name is Maimuna Bey and I'm coming to you from the Kukalal kitchen where we will be showing you how to make a creamy chicken and corn soup. So we'll start off with one onion, finely chopped. Then you'll have one stick of butter, just under 100 grams of butter. So what we do is we'll preheat the oven, we'll use our butter and our garlic and we'll sizzle that through, right? We will also use two to three teaspoons of barbecue spice, two to three teaspoons of chicken spice, a dash of chili spice, depending on your flavor and your palate, of course, if, if you can handle the heat. If you can't, you know what to do. And then we'll have about a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Then what we also have is a creamy chicken soup, the cup of soup. And I have the thick vegetable soup, your packet soups, right? There are various brands on the market. And then we'll also have one can of cream style sweet corn. So that's all the ingredients we'll need. And then don't forget your milk, about two liters of milk. It depends on how many you're serving. And we have about 250 mils of fresh cream. Again, that's also adding a nice flavor to your soup and make it nice and creamy on the palate. Then what we have is our main ingredient of our chicken soup, which is our chicken, voila. So we have four chicken breasts, depending on the size. I used four because of this, because my size was like this. If your chicken breasts are bigger, then you can only use three. Again, it depends on how many people you are serving. So we'll put this aside until we are ready to use it. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna melt the butter and the garlic together. So we'll head over and we'll preheat our pot slightly. Don't put it on a high heat because you don't want to char the, the garlic and the butter. We'll start off with our butter. We'll just pop it into the pot. So we'll melt this slightly. Put our garlic into our pot. Give us a light stir. You'll see it mix through nicely. Butter's melted so quickly. So while this, normally while this is happening, you are busy chopping your onions, right? So I'm gonna just turn this down so I can chop the onions. Chop the onions for you. So what, what I've done is, because it is a big onion, I've taken half of the onion, right? Hold it like this and then just finely chop it. Dice it up nice and fine because you don't want to be tasting big chunks of onion in your soup. That's not nice at all. And in goes our onions. We have to watch this closely. We don't want to burn the onions. We sli want it slightly translucent, a little bit golden brown, but just a nice, also the garlic and the butter can mix through nicely with your, with your onions. So we'll keep an eye on that. So what we've done is, so this is ideally, this is what we want the chicken to look like, diced in fine little, fine little portions. So what I've done is, I've taken my fillet. Okay, let's just do that. Sliced it through, holding the top. Take a nice sharp knife, watch your fingers. Slice it through nicely. So you've got that. And then to get this effect, just hold the, hold the, the breast down nicely and you do this, right? So here, as you can see, this nice and fine. And we'll do the same with this one. And you can just slice them nice. If your nice knife is nice and sharp, it just slices through easily, very, very quickly, right? So we've got that. And I, again, I used four chicken breasts. I'm expecting a big party at, at the buka table. <laughs> so I'll do that. We'll just put it all together. So you can slice back to the front, sorry, or you can just do this. You just hold your knife and you can do that. It's sharp, it's very easy, it just glides through your chicken. So ideally, this is the size that you'd want your chicken to be. It's very tiny, but it's perfect for your chicken soup. And now we'll, we'll throw in our chicken. Just do that. Two, three minutes it's cooked through because it's, it's diced so finely as well. It will go through very, very quickly. Here goes, our, this is the magic, barbecue spice. Right, I said I threw in about two teaspoons, two to three teaspoons. Chicken spice, pop that in. Do you don't want a bland chicken soup? I personally don't like a bland chicken soup. I like it, it must have a bit of kick and nice flavor. Right, so 
but the heat again I'm a bit you know I worry about the heat so I'll just take a little bit of chili um, spice to watch and also for the kiddies palettes you don't want to get too too hot when you're having that so we'll give that a quick stir oh and it just fills the kitchen with such lovely aromas and during Ramadan this is going to be hard to make before iftar <laughs> With these lovely aromas next we'll add in our sweet corn this recipe is so quick to make you can make it i mean you have all these things in your pantry it's not an expensive thing to make either so really very very quickly the only thing you're really spending money on i think is getting the chicken if you don't have it at home but everything else is what we have at home so we let that simmer for one minute not even you're just getting the spices and the things to blend through nicely with the with the um with the sweet corn what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mix the chicken, creamy chicken soup. We'll just add it together in one bowl, it's not an issue. And the thick vegetable soup. We'll add it together. And I'll just give this a nice whisk, which is nice and creamy. There must be no lumps, there must be no... Um, see, you, this is sort of a thick consistency, which we don't want. So what we do, add some more milk. So it's perfect. So it's sort of runny. I can't really see with this let's just see so it's sort of runny but also not too runny and it'll be perfect to add in once you get to that step okay let's check on our chicken and our corn let's not burn anything perfect so as you can see everything is blended through nicely perfect so what we'll do now is we'll add our milk a liter of milk two liters of milk depending on how many you're serving again so with this recipe I use about a litre and a half milk. Just pour it in. Let's just get it on. So you can now you can actually just turn the heat up a bit to get the to give the milk get the milk to boil quickly. What you can also do is add in your fresh cream at the same time and let that simmer and mix through nicely. I usually just add it in all together. So that the, the milk and the fresh cream blends well. We'll give that another stir. So you'll see some of the spices will come to the top but that's from the butter which is fine because once your, your soup mixes in and your other milk and it starts to thicken and the milk boils everything will blend and mix through nicely so all the flavors will pull through nicely to your soup so quickly what we've done is I'm going to show you just a quick as a side to have with your soup you'll have a bit of a crouton or you can buy ready-made croutons or you can make them yourself sort of semi make them yourself because you'll have a baguette you can buy a baguette you can buy any kind of roll you can use bread whatever you have at home quick all we want is quick quick things right so this is what it looks like we have some melted butter in here melted butter with garlic and a bit of rosemary just for that flavor so again crushed garlic goes really well in here and what we do is we'll just spread it onto the roll nicely so that it soaks it's best to use a pastry brush or what you can even do is just dip the bread quicker so dip the bread in there just to cover it nicely and our rosemary we'll sizzle that quickly in the griddle pan so I'll just put this on for, but on high heat so we can get that nice charred look on the on the bread so it not only looks pretty it also tastes lovely so we just want this milk to start boiling for the chicken soup Add our final ingredient. But you must keep an eye on this because this can boil over and you don't want that mess. It's, it's not the mess is not something that we want to deal with, especially with spilt milk. We'll take our baguette, again, bread, whatever you want to use, and you can use whichever spices, whichever herbs you'd like. I like rosemary and also that, that aroma of the rosemary. So we'll pop it in the pan. Sometimes you have that double um, griddle pan, the one that's almost like a snack which thing. Pop it in there also, whatever works for you. You can even throw it in the oven. I use this because it just gave it that nice look. Be sure to keep an eye on the soup and just give it a stir to avoid any lumps forming in your, in your soup. And also to avoid anything sticking to the bottom of, this, of the pan, of the saucepan. So you can see it's becoming, it's starting to become nice and creamy and it's, it's thickening a little bit. But the moment this starts to boil, we'll add in our, our secret, secret ingredient, <laughs> which is the, the packet soup. 
that also just give it a, gives it an added flavor, I think. It's, it's totally different to the normal chicken soup. So turn down the heat, give it a nice stir. Again, check it, nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pot. And you can see the soup is not that thick yet. And this is when we add in our, our other soup. So we take this, which is our creamy soup, our packet soup, and we pour it into the pot. Pour it in gently. Put that one side. And stir. Keeping your, keeping your pot on a low heat. Right, because now that is sort of serves as a thickening agent of your soup and just making it extra creamy. This is two teaspoons, oh, sorry, one teaspoon of pepper. That we throw. Quick stir, so that the pepper can blend through nicely. And there we go. So this is what we have, a lovely creamy chicken and corn soup. We'll just quickly touch that up a bit with a fresh sprig of rosemary. Homemade croutons. So there we go and enjoy.